Welcome to the channel and my review of The Pope's Exorcist. Now when it comes to exorcist type movies, I found that there's either people who like them or those who don't. There's a, not a whole lot in between there. It's usually because they're very similar. There's not a lot of difference between them. Once you've seen one, you kind of seen them all with the exception of a few. This one on the other hand, I thoroughly enjoyed this because it had a lot of flair to it. It did stand out amongst all the other Exorcist movies that I've seen. Now, that being said, I might be a little biased because I do like the Exorcist type movies and the possessions and the demonic stuff. Something about it is just extra creepy and the way that the body contorts and when the demon takes over and just everything about it is just... It sends chills down your spine. And this one, again, I will say, stood out among the rest because of Russell Crowe. Now, I don't want to say that this movie was going to completely bomb without him, but it definitely was not going to be as good had someone else played this role. Russell Crowe is a phenomenal actor. And in this movie, I feel like he gave the performance of a lifetime. He added so much to this character in so many different tones and so many different personalities from being a serious man of God to a bit of a jokester while trying to get the job done and being a little lighthearted. So that in itself, I really appreciate it. And he even brought a lot of the true life tones of the actual priest that he's playing into the film. Now, the priest that he is playing is Gabriel Armarth, and he is, again, a real priest. This is based on a true story, and a lot of his traits of being a jokester and playing around during the exorcisms and even just on everyday life, he brought that to the screen in even little things such as the whiskey flask that the priest kept under his cloak. He did that as well. So the way that he presented himself as the priest and the traits that he had was absolute perfection. Now this movie was directed by Julius Avery, who I'm gonna be completely honest, don't know a whole lot about, but I will say that he did a great job on this film. The angles, the cinematography were top notch. It really brought you into the room with the demons, with the priest and Certain times when he would zoom in on the eyes as they would change and the angles of the face that he would grab just really accentuated that horror behind the exorcism. Now, I'm also going to say the screenwriting here was quite enjoyable. I did have a good time with the dialogue in this movie. Some very serious notes that really touched deeply and had you worried about these people who generally are in trouble. And then there was times where I laughed and giggled at the priests in certain scenarios that they felt just needed to be a little lighthearted, kind of take the edge off all the seriousness. And when they did that, I feel like it just made the movie that much better and made it stand out that much more from all the other Exorcist movies that we've gotten. Now, since this is based off a true story or a true to life person and his exploits in exorcism they did tend to capture a lot of his story in there by mentioning the fact that the majority of his exorcists or should i say exorcisms weren't really demonic they're just people who are in poor mental health maybe it's a psychological issue that they're having and a little theatrics are needed to bring this person back to reality and help them out and get them healthy again. But there was also the small handful of cases that actually did need an exorcism and he had his own flair and way about doing it. And sometimes it may have rubbed the church the wrong way, but he got the job done. Now this movie wasted no time getting right to the action, right to the point. Um, and as the movie progressed, I will say that these scenes intensified little by little by little. And we really got a nice build of intensity until we get to the climax toward the end. And we get to this big battle and the scenes, the cinematics behind this battle are top notch. I really felt the intensity, the, the struggles that the priest had, the struggles that the children had, the mom who's sitting there helping fight for her children's lives 
Everything about this is something every and all future Exorcist movies should really pay attention to. I will say, if Russell Crowe doesn't get nominated for some sort of award from this movie, I would be shocked. It is well-deserved. If you're a horror fan, trust me, this is not a waste of time. This is something that I feel you will thoroughly enjoy. It's a great movie. I loved it. I'm probably going to watch it another time or two. Join me down in the comments below to talk about this movie. What did you think about it? Is it up your alley or is it not? Drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button on your way out. I'm Kevin, and I'll see you at the concession stands.